What's up guys, Claudia here reporting from the America server and today we have received the second big patch for November. Um, quite a new events, new soul weapon releases, new costumes and the new event dungeon is what we got. So gonna talk about that quickly, see what we have received. Now sadly right now the state of the game is not quite stable. Um, there are frequent disconnects and, and issues with skills not activating and such um, to the point that Vesp actually turned off entry to world bosses. You can do Xenodus right now and I don't really recommend doing PvP either. I tried it and I just disconnected once or twice and left it at that. Not worth to try and climb right now. There is an extended maintenance uh, or emergency maintenance planned for later on and hopefully that will fix the issues that is what Vespa is promising. Until then we can just look at the changes and do the dailies and whatnot. So let's get to it, let's see what we have received in this patch note. New costumes as mentioned, these are the working day ones for Crow, Kyrs, Erza, Veronica and Lakrak. I personally think Kyrs and Erza have become really cute if you like costumes, definitely worth checking out. Um, the fifth batch of soul weapons has also arrived. Quite a big list. Loman, Dosarta, Nyla, Nikurena, Tanya, Dimel, Requina, Rodina, Odieska, Lucia, Lebrun, May, May and Cassandra. Long list. Not gonna go through the individual ones here. You can check them out. There are some pretty good ones, especially things like May, um, that are definitely worth keeping an eye out for. Um, what else did we get? We got a new event dungeon, we'll get to that in a moment. Arena shop has now a Hartnas unique weapon and we will be getting the new birthdays for Pavel, Chase, Rodina, Nyla, Mitra, Viska, Bernheim and Esker. And we have a new functionality uh, which is this background func uh, download function which means that if you are starting the game and don't want to start with a three gigs patch or something can start playing do the initial chapters and whatnot while it's downloading in the in the background so it's pretty nice also during patching you can now see some story about um, uh, some heroes also about the world it's just some something to read in case you are bored of the uh, Sonya game mm, there are some bug fixes and that's it. It's not a terribly big patch. But surprisingly, we didn't get. I really thought that we would get Jin this week, um, since they let us beat him up in the in the Thousand Days celebration, uh, even before. But he wasn't released, so I guess I will be making that NPC hero list sooner than expected. Um, it also means that we did not get a new hero in November. So since Rehart now we haven't received anything new. It's kind of curious. Um, they still did not reveal the new costume for League of Honor. So even though the live season is on, we do not know yet who will be uh, the rewarded costume. And Guild Conquest has also started. Again, due to the connection issues and all, I wouldn't be starting to use my tickets just yet. Um, but we will see how that goes. They haven't fully really released any information on it, if they have changed anything or whatever. We just got the ban list and the, the note that it's up now. Um, okay, so we have received this new even dungeon in Central Orwell. This, uh, this time it's, it's Yuria who is bringing it to us. There is the where the light of fate shines and Basically, we have five story dungeons, uh, you get one key each day, which you can use to access them. Clearing it for the first time will give you 400 of these uh, Cloth of Fates, and you also get 200 per clear, so it's 600 per clear here. The story modes has have level 60 heroes fighting you, so it's you can just bring whatever, it will not be a challenge, I believe, even if you do not have fully decked out heroes. Um, if you check the shops, you can see that after five days clearing all of these, you will have uh, 3000 um, of these cloths, 
which you can buy mystical soul fragments, transcendence points, artifact pieces, unique treasure, stamina potion, and shining eaters. So for the 3000 you can get the unique treasure, you can get these, that's 2400, and then a bit more, and you will be able to get this too. Now after you have cleared, so the way this works is that when you clear one of the dungeons, the next one will be opened, so you can clear them one by one in five days. And there is a special dungeon which will be using standard heroes again, so you can you can select any hero from the list, even the ones that you do not own, but they will be wearing standardized gear and they will not have any transcendence perks or whatsoever. So this can be a bit challenging again. Uh, we do not know yet what these will be. There should be three of them. Uh, that's what they said in the patch notes, but we don't know anything about the dungeons themselves yet. We'll get back to you guys with more info when we do. Um, so that's basically everything we received in this patch. Um, now normally I do not like talking about special shop or encouraging anyone to spend, but this time it feels like Respa really added themselves um, with the Black Friday stuff. For one, heroes are now at a half a discount price, so if you wanted to spend rubies, not really a recommended thing, but if you wanted to do, you can do get you can get them for three thousand rubies now. Also, costumes are on sale now, and not just the new ones, but all of them are on a fifty percent sale. That's pretty great, especially because Vespa had said that they would be discontinuing the costume um, sales that they used to do every time they released new ones. So right now. Um, you can buy any of them at half price, which is pretty nice. Also, there is this new package, the Black Friday ones. You can see these in Hungarian currency because that's what I have. It's about 80 something USD, 88 maybe, something like that. And this one, guys, this one is really brutal. Just if you check all the eaters you get, that's already quite good. And then there is a thousand soul fragment tickets which you can use for any of them, two unique weapon tickets, selectors, two unique treasure selectors, and a thousand rubies as a bonus, plus a hundred of these tokens and a hundred certain Lua tokens. So that's pretty great. You can buy three of these if you have like 300 USD to drop on that. And this one will last for almost a month. It will be until the December 12th maintenance or something like that. And now if you go over the, the, to the black token shop, the black tokens you get when you buy one of these packages, there are also some pretty nice item, items here. For instance, buying that package will net you a weapon ticket, a unique weapon ticket. Again, this is a selector, so just buying one will give you three unique weapon selectors. It's pretty dope. And then you can either get two of these or you can get some eaters. There are some other stuff here like uh, three option selector which means that you can ex actually make perfect gear because the fourth option you can just reroll as needed that's a bit expensive for 80 workers are rune ticket not really worth it because it's random uh, two options beast of chaos gear this feels like a trap if you ask me because two options you can still get garbage if you get like um, or I don't know I mean let's say you've spilled like attack twice reroll one uh, to be the third attack stat, but it's still not quite optimal if the fourth stat is not good. So this is a gamble. I'm not quite sure I would go for it. Maybe if you have both out everything else. All in one summon. For 200 this seems a little bit expensive. I wouldn't go for it myself, I believe. And then for 500 special artifact ticket. This means you can select normal artifacts and event artifacts. You can select Velkazar and World Boss ones. But the emphasis here is usually event artifacts, which are pretty, pretty good, like the pumpkin ones that you can get uh, usually from events. So, all in all, I would say Vespa has really outdone themselves for Black Friday. Uh, a lot of these packages are pretty nice. I have seen people who just bought all of them already. 
good for them if they have so much cash to uh, drop at the game. Suddenly I can do that. But maybe I will get one of these. You know, support the game a little bit. It's kind of nice to do so sometimes. And on top of that, I almost forgot, there is also an event for two weeks now. That if you buy something, it can be anything for cash. You will get a uh, first uh, payment bonus, which will be a costume ticket. That's all the costumes up to 2019 Halloween. So if you liked any of the newer costumes but couldn't afford it from your rubies, buying something small will let you a ticket and you can use that. So all in all, not a bad patch. Maybe would have been nice to get something new to do, some new content or at least a new hero. But all in all, once they fix the connection issues and the timeouts, then I guess we have some stuff to be excited about, especially because all those nice support heroes have received their soul weapons now. And if you get one of these uh, packages, in case you can afford it, then you can also use those fragments to get them right away. So I guess there is stuff to be excited about. We'll see how this event is in Central Orworld with Yuria. Um, the stories are quite nice. Usually um, I have seen the first one, it's with Aisha and Priscilla. That was pretty nice, interesting, good to see those old characters a bit, getting some screen time in the game. And Yuria is a nice character with some good art. <laughs> so it was good to see them together. With that, I guess that's um, all about the patch today. Hopefully the issues will be fixed soon. Um, as always, thank you for watching so far. Feel free to leave any comments, questions below. And I'll see you in the next video then. Bye bye.